Hey, I'm Chrissy. Uh, my tattoo story starts with my neck. Like this. Uh, back in the day when I was in softball, I had a tournament in Las Vegas and I played for the Minnesota Irish. And my tattoo meant luck in Japanese, so I had it airbrushed on me and I had one of the best games of my life. So I proceeded when I turned 18, day of my birthday, I had that done. Uh, my next tattoo was actually a treble clef, which you can't see, which was on the side of my foot. Um, it was just an epitome of me playing instruments. I played violin, piano, drums. That went on, and then I kind of graduated onto a more mature part of my life. I went on to in scenario, I guess, where I maybe wasn't remembering what I was doing, and I covered up my my trauma cloth with what was said to be a cabbage, and so I had a cabbage tattooed onto my foot after a long night of music in St. Paul, Minneapolis area, and to try and fix such cabbage, I <laughs> added on vines and whatnot to have this little shin bag here. So we made it kind of a little flower kebab, I guess, but it was originally a cabbage, as you can see the nice little circle. <laughs> and then I had many events happen and conspired my life, and my best friend at the time, Maggie, was a good girl, and we had some not so happy moments in her life with our friends, someone passed away, and so she had the same tattoo tattooed onto her arm as I had to my foot, but this is her handwriting. It says, the imperfect is our paradise, which means a lot to me. Uh, that's actually, if not one of the most influential tattoos I've ever had. Then once again, I had a little cabbage moment. Even though it's great, I had a carpe diem tattooed on the back of my leg because I feel you should always seize the moment and uh, fuck what everybody else says, right? And then <laughs> uh, when I moved to Steamboat, I met Mile Offering. He's a great friend of mine, an amazing, amazing artist. He then moved away for a little bit and uh, graduated from college. He got his art degree. And he came back and he began to work on this beautiful piece. It's my Colorado piece, starting out, it's a uh, nice little mountains here, we have bird and all the Colorado wildflowers, and when it's done, it's going to be amazing, and if you have the blessed chance to meet this human being, he's so awesome, <laughs> his girlfriend Jamie is great, <laughs> you're going to love what he does to you.